Welcome to Sunday's dinner. It's a bit different today. It's a bank holiday weekend. So we are going to have our roast dinner tomorrow on Monday. We've been full of busy today doing housework and gardening and all sorts. So we didn't really have time to eat. The children needed bathing before they even ate. So they had sausage sandwiches and beans and chips earlier on. And we're having a supper with Prosecco and the fire Netflix and uh, enjoying our bank holiday Sunday. We've got some potato fritters which just have have been done in the air fryer with garlic, granules, onion salt, dried thyme, salt and pepper and a little bit of rapeseed oil. We've got some hot garlic chutney, some mature cheddar and some of the Mexicano cheese some baked tomatoes and they've been baked with balsamic, olive oil, red wine vinegar, sage and garlic and some sourdough just from Aldi to dip into the, the bread and the Prosecco, that's the one from Aldi, $5.99 and it's delicious. Some um, peppers and courgettes and onions, I've just quickly cooked them up in a frying pan with a tiny little bit of oil, a green salad some of the Caesar and roasted garlic dressing, which is yummy. A little bit of pasta with sun-dried tomato pesto, which I made up really quickly. And a cheese and, which needs stirring, because it's been sat there a minute. And it's still warm though. A cheese and jalapeno dip sauce type thing. Um, there we go. We were both craving all the carbs and all the things... Um, but just because we've been busy. So there is our supper, our lovely fire on a very cold August day for this evening. Welcome to Monday's tea. Um, not as simple as normal, it's bank holiday, so it always feels like it's Sunday to us on a bank holiday Monday if we stay home. So we've got a little mini dinner. I roasted a piri piri chicken from Aldi, and the children in today have chicken with creamy creamy mashed potatoes and we've got some broccoli, uh, maple and mustard, carrots and broad beans. Are they broad beans? Yes, broad beans from my, there we are, like, from my father-in-law's garden and I quickly made up some onion gravy. There's the gravy and the leftover onions. I don't know what to do with the leftover onions. If anybody's got any ideas that would be great. Uh, and I've got a veggie burger from Aldi. Here we go, nice and simple, Monday night dinner. Welcome to Tuesday, and we have got uh, like a lentil bolognese with tagliatelle. Um, super easy, tastes different, but just as good as a regular bolognese. Um, onion, celery, carrot, garlic, and then um, some finely chopped mushrooms, uh, red lentils, 150 millilitres of passata, about 600 millilitres of vegetable stock, and some paprika, a tiny bit of cayenne pepper, uh, some mixed Italian herbs, some marmite, and some Worcester sauce. And it just all cooks in the pan together, really. And you could probably even do this in a slow cooker as well. And then some tagliatelle, because that's the type of pasta that I had lots of in the cupboard. And we've got some hard cheese there, like a parmesan alternative. It's just British, um, it's local to Northumberland. Uh, to grate, a little bit to grate over the top. There we are. Yummy Tuesday night tea. Welcome to... Uh, Wednesday's tea and we have got a side salad, my husband's got chicken, I've just got some leaves and we've got the Caesar with roasted garlic dressing on it and we have the a uh, aubergine and mozzarella and parmesan bake. I'm not going to embarrass myself with the Italian pronunciation. And there we go, that's just what we're having for Wednesday night and the children ate earlier. They had some uh, leftover chicken with a couple of mini roast potatoes from the air fryer, some uh, sage and onion stuffing, just Paxo, and some broccoli. So there we go, there's Wednesday. Welcome to Thursday night's tea, is it? Yes, it's definitely Thursday. 
I really should get a calendar on the wall so I know what day it is. Um, and we are having a bean surprise. Um, I suppose it is. I didn't know what to make, um, just trying to use up the things we've got in the fridge. I saw um, the lovely Kate on the Kitchen Spy. She made a, it might have been a cannellini bean and feta surprise or something last week. And since then I've been craving beans and also black eyed beans, which are my one of my favourites. They have a different, um, a very distinctive taste. Uh, so all I did was I popped in to a pan some red onion, some peppers and courgette I found in the fridge and some tomato puree, some garlic, uh, smoked paprika, cayenne pepper and some chickpeas and black eyed beans and this is what I've ended up with and it tastes lovely and it's just what the doctor ordered and we've got some wedges from the Act of Fry and Craving Carbs, they're just um, Italian mixed herbs and garlic granules and some lovely green lettuce, freshly picked by my husband from our garden and grown by him as well actually, I take no credit for that whatsoever and there we go and I'm having a lovely glass of wine, it's actually the uh, is it Prosini from Aldi because my little channel has a thousand subscribers, so having a little bit of a celebration is amazing. Thank you to each and every one of you who has subscribed. I am very, very overwhelmed. Thank you very much. And I'll leave a little link below for Kate's lovely channel where you can see lots of lovely picture, lovely footage of uh, North Wales, near uh, Ceredigion, I believe. Uh, my country of birth. And there, and it's absolutely lovely. It's a wonderful channel. Go and check it out. There we go. Thursday's tea. See you later. Welcome to Thursday's tea. It's a rather strange one. I almost didn't film it because I was embarrassed, but you know, it's it's real. It's really what we're having. So why not? It's um, it's tadik. It's with pasta. It's an tadik is an Iranian or Persian dish where you cook potatoes, you steam them under some par-cooked rice. But I wanted carbs on carbs, which obviously rice is, but <laughs> hormones and all that, you know. So I cooked pasta in pesto on top of the potatoes. I steamed, sorry, I cooked the pasta, mixed it with the pesto, and then cooked the potatoes underneath. And I can't wait to eat it, to be perfectly honest. I've got a little bit of greens there with it, we've got a little bit of hard cheese on top and oh and there's a fly in the kitchen, oh joys of living in the country, it was awful and um, yeah that's what we're having tonight and I don't care, <laughs> back to better eating next week after our little breakaway, there we go, uh, pasta tadik. <laughs> 